What's going on guys and thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Adonis and welcome. What's going on? How are you guys doing? Um, I'm doing really, really good. It's really early. It's currently Thursday, May 26th. It's 8.13 in the morning. Um, and yeah, it's really early. I'm just leaving for my road trip tomorrow um, to California, which everybody should know about. And um, I wanted to get this video out before I left. But thank you guys so much for coming to my channel, first off. If you like kind of videos like these, what's in my bag videos or travel videos, definitely give them a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below with some of the videos that you're going to be wanting to see while I'm on the road trip and while I actually get to California. Um, if you're in the Southern California area or anywhere in, in California um, and you guys want to kick it or hang out or go shopping or grab lunch or something, just let me know. Um, down in the comments or hit me up on Instagram or, or Twitter or something and we can totally set something up. I'm so excited to come out there. Um, but um, I'm pretty sure I touched all the main points so we'll just get straight into the video. So as I mentioned, this is going to be kind of a what's in my travel bag video. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys what I keep in my travel bag. I'm packing a ton of stuff but it usually all goes in my back seat or the trunk and I keep one solid bag with me the whole trip. Um, our family does road trips a lot so we're used to kind of keeping the essentials with you and then throwing everything else in the trunk or in the back seat. But since it's just me, I'll have the whole car pretty much to have my stuff in. Um, but yes, we'll just hop straight into the video. Prior to getting to what's in my bag, I always keep a couple of essential items um, on hand uh, separate from my bag. So the first thing, of course, is a gigantic bottle of water. I have another bottle of water in my bag, which is a backup, so I don't have to kind of reach everywhere for it when I'm driving. But I do keep a huge bottle of water. Normally, I like the huge Smart Waters or the huge Fiji Waters. This huge Fiji Water is two eighteen at Walmart, and a huge Smart Water is two twelve um, at Walmart. Um, and so I usually just get one of these. Um, to as my starter and then I get a whole like 24 pack of uh, bottled water to keep in my back seat. The next thing that I'll have is a ball cap. Um, I don't know, a ball cap just makes me feel secure when I'm driving or if I have to step out of my car to get gas or wherever I'm going, I just like to have a ball cap on. Um, you guys know I just like wearing hats. Um, it's something that I'm getting into so I do keep a hat on it and this is my favorite Puma hat. You, I literally wear it every other video. I'm surprised I'm not wearing it now. Um, so I just keep a hoodie in my car and this is the Boston hoodie that I just got from H&M. It was like 10 bucks um, and it's lined and so I can just throw it on while I'm driving um, so I can still be cool but not be too cold and be comfortable um, and things like that. So I do keep a hoodie externally for my bag. So you guys have seen this bag in my last haul video or my last haul slash up life update video. Um, you guys know I can't pronounce it but I'll leave all the information to the bag on the screen and down below. But this is the bag right here. It is very full and full of stuff. And it looks small, but it actually carries a substantial amount of stuff. Um, this is the Fajalrivin Konkin bag. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that. And I probably should have looked it up. But this is the bag right here. Um, this bag comes in tons of colors and two different sizes um, in this style. There's a mini and then there's this size, which is the, the large. Um, and I decided to get it in kind of a forest green and um, oxblood color. You can either carry it as a tote, because it has tote handles right there, or it has the regular straps at the back, which you can buckle down um, as a tote. I would probably carry it as a tote, honestly, because it's a little heavy, but I can also throw it on my back my back if I'm going you know, into the hotel or uh, into a store or to the beach or something like that. But this is the bag. First, we can start with what's in this first pouch right here. So the first thing I have, of course, is my vlogging camera. I told you guys I would be vlogging. This is the Canon uh, G7X. I have a thing with Canon cameras. I have the Canon T3i, the Canon uh, ELPH PowerShot 180, and I also have the G7X. Um, the ELPH was my previous vlog camera, but I just upgraded. So I do have this vlog camera. I'll leave where I got this. Um, in the description below as well. I have I have a checkbook because you honestly never know when you might have to write a check um, and I keep some in my glove compartment too and I just have my car keys. So that's all that I keep in this front pouch. As you can tell I have a bottle of water in here. That's all that I keep in here. It has two water side things on the side so I might just get another water just to stick in the side. So what I love about this bag is it opens all the way around and it's a wide face and so it opens 
there's pretty much an open flap right there so you're able to see everything that you have in the bag so we'll just kind of get into um, what I have in here currently what I, I have a backup ball cap this is just a denim hat that I got from um, eBay for like four bucks I have an extra pair of sun or uh, extra pair of glasses um, they're the same ones as these, just an additional pair. You never know when you might break your glasses. I don't wear contacts. So always, always, always have a backup pair of contacts or a backup pair of glasses. So I have these. I also have deodorant. So, um, again, all of my stuff is going to be packed away in the back. Um, and so if I need to freshen up or something or do something like that, I always want to keep it in handy. And I also have a deodorant bar in my, in my like, uh, middle console console in my car, um, but I always keep some spray deodorant just in case I need to freshen up or I'm feeling a little sticky on the drive and I just need to kind of stop and cleanse myself. I have some deodorant extra strength. Yeah, so then I just have my wallet which has all of my credit cards and my cash and my IDs and stuff which I keep in my bag. Um, I should probably keep it a little closer, but again, I have a tendency to lose things so I like to keep stuff kind of together. So I have my wallet. This little wallet pouch I got when I went to California last time in August, um, last August, um, it's a small wallet and compact and so I can keep it in my front pocket and yeah, so I have that. that. Every time I do a What's In My Bag video, it's in there. You guys always ask me where I got it and I literally got it from my basement. Like, <laughs> it was my mom's and I just found it. It's a genuine leather pouch from something that she had and I just took it. So in here, I have my vlogging camera charger um, plug-in, wall plug-in. Um, I have my portable charger, which is an HP portable charger. I did a video on this um, in September, I think, so go back and check that out. But it's an HP portable charger that I can just plug my phone into. I also have a charging dock in my car, um, but just in case I want to, um, something goes wrong with that or something like that happens, I have a portable charger that I can just keep with me. Also, when I get to California and I'm out all day, um, I have something to charge my phone, or if we go to the beach, I have something to just keep with this and charge our devices and whatnot. You can plug two devices in there at one time, just a solid device. Um, I have my um, SD card holder. I'm cur nothing's in there because there's one SD card in my vlogging camera, and then there's one in this camera. I need to buy a, another one, which I'll probably go to Walmart and do today. Um, just to have a backup, but this is just usually what my SD cards sit in is a little plastic case that came with my uh, T3i I have some band-aids because you never know honestly um, I have some lotion just in case I'm feeling a little crusty on the road um, Just the same thing with the deodorant if I need to freshen up I also have another full bottle of cocoa butter in my console um, Just because you never know you never know guys and I'm black so I get ashy you just never know I mean white people get ashy too, but that wasn't the point I was trying to make and then I just have um, some pens, pencils, and um, highlighters and stuff, so if I need to take notes. I have a couple of things. I have a um, journal in here that, just in case I need to take notes, which is why I have all those pens, I can just jot some down in my journal if I have video ideas or something like that. I can put them in my little journal slash notebook. Um, and it's just kind of a cool, sleek, uh, leather-bounded notebook that I got from Target um, a long, long, long time ago. I also have, um, since I'll be staying in a hotel a couple of times, um, I wanted to have something to do. I'm not really a big TV watcher. I really, really, really want to get back into reading um, books. Um, I, I've had this book, uh, Yes, Please, by Amy Poehler for ever, and I haven't had time to sit down and read it. So the on this trip while I'm in the hotel or um, have some downtime, I'm going to read this book. So always keep a book with you or an Audible book. I don't have Audible. I don't have that promotion. I wish I did. Um, but I do have just Yes Please and I plan on getting through this and uh, getting some other books. I'll keep you guys posted. I heard it's a really, really, really good book. And again, I bought it months ago, probably back in January or December. Um, so I'm really interested in reading this, but I always keep something to do other than being on the internet with me. So a nice book to read. Headphones, I won't be using those while I'm driving, but when I stay in the hotel and stuff or get a hotel, um, I have something um, to listen to my music with. And while I'm actually in California, phone charger, I keep two of these with me. One that's connected to my car, so I can just plug it in and it connects to the overall car. And one I keep separate, um, just to have a backup. I always keep two of everything because you never know when you'll lose it and you'd hate to have to buy another one. I Ray-Bans. I'm very protective over these Ray-Bans because they were so expensive and now looking back on it they were actually probably too expensive for me to buy. Like I shouldn't have paid what I paid for these. I paid a hundred and forty five dollars. 150. I paid a hundred something over what I should have paid for these. Um, but they are just my Ray-Ban. Oh the receipts are here. I paid a hundred and forty for them. 
Um, but they're just the Ray-Bans. I can't remember the style of them that I got. It doesn't. I can't remember the style, but I'll put a link um, down below to them on the website. But they're just black like this, and they have the gradient shade. Um, they just look really cool. Everything is black on black on black, um, and so I could just kind of throw them on. I'm a lover. I'm not really a fan of shades, but I saw these on somebody, and I thought... They look so sleek and so sexy and so cool that I just needed to get a pair of them. I got these from Dillard's um, not too long ago. Again, they were 140 bucks. And the last thing that I actually carry in the bag is my MacBook charger. And what's good about this bag is it's, it's built to fit a 13-inch MacBook. And so my MacBook sits right in the back there. So I can pull it out and slide it in really easily. <laughs> that sounded sexual. Um, I can just kind of slide it in and put it there and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So I just have my MacBook, a 13 inch MacBook. It's old. I got this back in 2012 and I'm about to re-up um, here soon, but um, I just have my MacBook in there and it slides right in the back pouch there. So this is the bag empty. Again, it fits a ton of stuff, um, which is meant to. And the good thing about this is this bag is waterproof or water resistant. Um, weather resistant and so it's not going to melt or anything and it's a very very sturdy bag it's meant to go on voyages and get slapped around and get marked around so I'm really really excited to um, kind of take this bag with me. I bought this bag from eBay for about $60, $65 with shipping $68 with shipping. Um, the bags will usually run you about 70 bucks so that's a good deal. Um, I would check eBay first and actually if you don't really care about a one to two dollar difference or a three to four dollar difference definitely just head over to the website I'll leave that down below and just order it from the website and they'll get it to you and it'll be official you don't have to wait for an eBay seller to send it to you so guys this is just a quick what's in my travel bag video I thought it'd be kind of cute and kind of cool to do that since I'm about to get on the road hopefully if the weather permits we've been having very very bad severe weather last night which is Wednesday um, there were two tornadoes one that was like six miles from my house and one that was a city over so We've just been kind of dealing with that, and the weather's supposed to get worse today and tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to get on the road by Friday um, and be good. Because once I get out of Kansas, I'm solid. The weather is just bad up in the Midwest, so up north and going up towards like Chicago and stuff. The weather's really, really terrible. And so hopefully everything will be set. It's, pretty, it's really nice out. The sun's out right now, kind of. So... I should be good. So yes, if you guys like videos like this or um, like these little concept videos, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also leave your comments down below of video ideas that you want me to do or any comments on this video. What are you keeping in your travel bag? I'm interested to know um, kind of what you guys keep or what you guys kind of do. Um, make sure you guys are following me on my social media accounts so you can follow me throughout this journey. So Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, same username across all. Um, but I'm going to get out of here because I do have to get a haircut. In a little bit and I have like so much stuff to do so um, I will check you guys out in my next video keep you posted make sure you're following tell your friends about my channel you know whatever whatever you guys want to do and I will catch you guys in my next video um, bye <laughs>